In this video, I'm going to share with you how I animated this Halloween Elements pack all in After Effects. And you can get all the illustrations and the animation files from the link in the description. So go get it from there and without any further delay, flash them right into it. So let's start with the bat flying animation. So here we have the illustration with layers separated. Let's select one wing and pre comp it. And let's add some puppet pins in the way you want to distort the wing while flapping. And make sure to add some extra pins where the wing is going to attach with the body layer. Then select the puppet pins and convert it into bone layers using the add pin feature in Twig Angela. Rename the layer and parent it in this direction. Now let's animate the rotation property of all these pins. Let's start with the very first pin, add a keyframe on rotation. And let's start with 1. Let's jump onto next 4 frame and give it minus 5. And let's jump onto next 4 frames again and copy and paste the initial keyframe to complete the loop. And easy is the keyframes. For the other 3 pins, let's add keyframes on the rotation property and start with 15. Then minus 22 and then back to 15 again. And is is the keyframe, add loop expression, which is loop in plus loop out minus the value. And offset the keyframes by one or two frames. And let's select all the keyframes and let's start it from the second frame of the composition. Now let's duplicate this wing layer one more time. Right click, transform, flip horizontally. And let's reposition it and place it on top of the second wing. And parent these two compositions with the body layer. Also, let's parent the facial elements with the body layer and open the position property of the body, separate the dimension, and at zero, add a keyframe on Y position, jump onto next four frame, and move the bat up. Again, next four frame, and copy and paste the initial keyframe, and easy is the keyframe, and add the loop expression. And here you have it. And now let's animate the witch cauldron. So let's start with the fire animation. Here we have the fire flames separated. Let's select a flame layer and let's add two puppet pins and convert the top pin into the bone layer using the add pin feature in Twig Angela. Open the position property, separate the dimension and add a wiggle expression on the Y position property with frequency 30 and amplitude 20. And then you can repeat the process for all the flame layers and you will get something like this. And then let's pre-comp all the layers inside this composition. Right click, layer styles, stroke. Under stroke, from here you can change the color of the stroke. And now you have the outline with the animation. Now let's animate the liquid inside the container. So here we have the liquid illustration layers. Let's select one circle shape and open the position property. And we're going to add a wiggle expression on position, which is wiggle, frequency 1.5, and amplitude of six. And another wiggle expression on scale, W equal to wiggle 1 comma 8, that means one is the frequency and eight is the amplitude, a semicolon, enter, square bracket, inside it, W, again square bracket, inside zero, comma, W square bracket inside zero. So I have modified the wiggle expression over here for the scale property to keep the scale up and scale down in equal proportion in X and Y axis. And now just paste the expression in the position and the scale property of all the other shape layers over here. And here you have it. Now let's animate the liquid spilling off. Let's add a line stroke with pen tool Open the shape path property and add a keyframe on shape path. Now let's jump on to next 25 frame and add a keyframe. Let's jump on to the first frame and we're going to shrink this line. Easy is the keyframe and decrease the ease at the start. Now let's add another line stroke with the pen tool. Add a trim path. Add keyframe on start, end and offset. End completely zero. Let's jump on to next 12 frame. Let's increase the end value and let's add a keyframe on start. Again, let's jump on to next around 8 frame. And this time we are going to move the offset and place this line stroke over here. And let's match the start value with the end. Easy is the keyframe. So let's start the animation from here. Let's duplicate the shape one more time and place it over here. 
and another time and let's place one over here. So let's offset these layers. Now as the liquid splash is falling down, the top shape is going to shrink over time. And here you have it. And now it's time to animate the graveyard. So let's start with the ghost animation. So here we have the layers of the ghost illustration. Let's parent face with the cloth and let's open the position property and separate the dimension. Add keyframe on X and Y position property. Let's jump on to next 60 frame. Place the layer over here and then let's jump onto again next 60 frame and let's place it on the other edge. And now let's copy and paste these keyframes and reverse the keyframe order. And in between, we're going to add a little curvature in this straight path. And now easy is the keyframes. And let's jump onto the motion graph editor of the Y position property and steep the motion curve at the start and at the end as well. And in between, let's convert it into auto bezier keyframe and pull the bezier handles. And in the process, I'm just making sure that overall motion curvature looks smooth. And now let's add the rotation keyframes. And this is the keyframes. Now let's add keyframe on the shape path property and, and morph the shape layer. And now let's animate the face of the coast. Let's use the cloth as the alpha track mat. Add a keyframe on the position property. And here we are going to move the face outside. Let's split the layer. Let's move it this side. And here we are going to bring the face inside the cloth border. And then at the end, we are going to copy and paste the initial keyframe. And then just easy is the keyframes. Let's apply wave warp effect on the cloth layer. Height 4 and wave width 105. And let's change the direction to 180. And now let's add another shape layer over here and use this layer as an alpha mat for the cloth. Apply another wave warp effect on this layer. Change wave type to circle. Wave height 6, wave width 85. And let's duplicate this effect one more time by pressing Ctrl plus D. And this time change the wave type back to sign. Wave height to 4 and wave width around 85. And just parent the shape layer with the cloth. And here you have it. And now to animate the zombie hand coming out of the grave. First, I have animated the position property of the mud layer randomly. Now for the zombie hand, first I have added some puppet pins on the finger layer and converted the puppet pins into individual pin layers with the help of the add pin feature in Twig Angela. And then parented the puppet pin layers in this direction. And then repeated the similar process for all the other fingers. And then parented the fast pin layer of the finger with the palm layer and the palm with the forearm. And then added some rotation in the finger layer and offsetted the keyframes to add a little bit of follow through. And then animated the forearm coming out of the ground. And here is how it looks. And then to animate the Halloween pumpkin, I have rigged the face of the pumpkin with twig connectors. And if you want to learn how to rig the face of a character using the twig angel plugin, then I have a separate tutorial on it. You can check it out from the link in the description or from the i button on the top right corner. So that is it for this video. If you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I would be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, then make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.